what I want to discuss is your behavior affects my behavior, which might not be what you think, because I want to talk about the basics maintenance, and um, because I often think that is still still overlooked. So this report uh, it's quite old, but it's still prevalent today. So somebody did a survey of various sites and they revealed that 54, 57% of dirty filters, 56% of units were not turned off when required. There were inappropriate set points and a lot of them had no instructions on how to use equipment. Now in air conditioning buildings, especially if it's VRV, up to 40% of the building's energy bill can be can be used by the air conditioning. So I, I think these figures are still prevalent today. I think if they redid the survey now, it wouldn't be far off that right now. So we've got to concentrate on maintenance, and we've got to concentrate on getting inappropriate set points, and we've got to concentrate on, on get everything working together and customers learning how to use things. So it, another report that we brought out was uh, it was an air conditioning unit and a six speed, a six speed compressor and it had dirty filters and it only provided an output of 1.8 kilowatts of cooling. Now the same unit with clean filters had an output of 5.3 and the input remained roughly the same at 2.7. Now yeah, most air conditioners are inverter driven now, but the same principle applies to small refrigeration systems as well. So inverter, small refrigeration, refriger I can't say it, refrigeration equipment, they will run for longer and ultimately consume more energy and have an increased carbon footprint as a, as a side effect of that. Another one I want to look at is, I just want to share this picture, and this is a kind of another one of your behaviour affects my behaviour, and it's how the plant working in one way will affect the plant in another way. So you look at these pictures and you look at the top, and this is a this is an air handler, it's attached to boilers, it's also attached to a chiller. So if you look on the left hand side, everything looks okay, top left picture, no faults on the BMS, everything looks good. You open up the filters, that's perfectly fine, the filters are fine. You look inside, this is a 15 year old air handler and it's in pretty good fettle to be fair. The coil's clean, the exchange is clean. And then we move over to the grill, we can see it's, um, it's coming out at 19.5 degrees C, no cause for concern. But if you look, actually look closer at it, uh, when, when, when I looked at this air handler, the, 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 the next picture along is the chilled water pipe inlet uh, to the air handler, and you can see it's 10 degrees C. So it was, a, it was cold outside, it was about 9 degrees C, but the chiller was activated, the boiler was activated, and it was 10 degrees C because the chiller valve was passing. And then if I move over to the next picture along, that was the actual frost coil um, that was uh, passing also. And so you can see that was 69 degrees C. So, so that one was passing. And then when we move over to the next one, to the next slide uh, picture, you can see that the heating coil was at 42 degrees C because that was kind of activated uh, by, by the BMS in its normal mode. So we had the, the you know, all three coils activated, but we had no faults on the panel, and we had um, a pretty reasonable air off, and everything looked clean. So, so, my, so my point being is that from a maintenance point of view, you know, we've got to be looking at absolutely everything because you know the BMS guy goes, there's no problems there. The aircon or refrigeration engineer goes, he may be one for re responsible for cleaning filters, no problems anywhere. So, you know, as a quick look around this air on there, everything looks fine, but it's totally in. So if we flick on to the next one, where your behavior affects my behavior. So let's have a look at this air on there. Um, this isn't exactly that air on there because I didn't have one with any exchange on it. It's the only one I could get. So the outside air comes in, it's passing through the first heating coil, uh, which, is, which is warming the air up, and then it's hitting the cooling coil because it's they because it's got a constant heat cooling load to work against the chiller is constantly running um, because it's counterbalancing that passing the, the heat that's been brought in through the frost coil so then the air's been cooled and then it's going to be hitting the heating coil which is constantly open and running because the air's cold and it's needing to be warm, warming it up so the your behavior affects my behavior is because the chiller's running flat out so are the boilers and these are kind of things that can go unnoticed you know everything may look fine but just take a, a closer look 